Hey everybody, it's Lucky Steroid. Welcome back to Pokemon Black 2. In the last episode, we came into the final bit of the giant chasm and witnessed N's arrival. So, gets this is Q Rem, absorbs Zekrom, and we had to fight Black Q Rem to separate them again. But now, we fight gets us the Team Plasma boss, so he has a much different look, he has a different look than in the last game, and he looks quite badass, I must say. I guess he's going to have a similar team to last time. And they've remixed his theme a little bit, I guess, as well. So, excuse me, he's just going to leave off the Papa Grigas. Um, since, judging by what he had in the last game, about, like, 5 level 52s and level 54, I'm gonna guess he has 5 level 50s and level 52. So, I think has got to be poison, which probably isn't the best thing in the world. And, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna try and tank this guy, because I'm pretty sure he's got a really tough team. And I might actually need Skullduck soon, if he's anything like the last game. So, if it faints, then I'm gonna go for something else, obviously, but I guess he's trying to stall me while I poison myself with, uh, while also hitting himself with the leftovers. Not a bad strategy, my friend. So, this guy's Pokemon has got a lot of AI, which is not a very good thing for me, at least. And that's almost taken it out, but I'm pretty sure that's us down. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to a Pokemon which can, I'm, I'm sure can do a lot of damage to this and cannot take a lot of damage from it. This is Absol. Uh, let's go straight for the Night Slash. And he goes for the full restore, so. That Golduck kind of died in vain, which is not a very good thing. At least I got some PP out down on that thing. I could have just gone for Absol in the first place, but. It's mummy ability changes my ability to mummy. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. I have no idea what that is, but this is gonna be difficult. I'm gonna go Scarborough. Let's try and do this. Let's see what it is. Okay, it's a Drave here. I'm not. I'm not in a bad position. I just didn't want to switch out to anything that I am. I want to switch up to Skarmory because I know it can take a lot of a lot of hits from different types, and pretty, and this is a pretty good one because it's all it can really do is dark type moves, and they're not very effective against me because poison doesn't affect me at all. So I'm in a pretty good position right now. The only thing that's effective against this is ground, but I would have been in a better position with flying on. I'm not sure if I could have taken it out in one hit with it or not. Now this guy's gonna have a full restore. I'm pretty sure he's gonna have another. That's when I'm that's at least my my hunch. I have a hunch that he's gonna have another full restore, so I, I, I guess I wanna try and knock it out of him and make him use it early on, but I'm not too worried if he doesn't. Like in situations like this, I don't wanna try and make him use it because that means it gives him a chance to do more damage to me. So um I'm trying to think of what else he can have. I'm pretty I'm for some reason, Hydreigon keeps having come into mind, but um, we'll see that later. Oh god, I'm not in a good place right now. Might as well make the most of it while I can, because I don't really want to switch Pokemon, because that can just do damage to that Pokemon. I'm going to switch out to, and it'll be a po and I tend to switch out to Pokemon that can do good things against this. Okay, you may be thinking Flygon can do this, it's an electric type, but no, this is a levitate, so ground type moves have no effect on it. So therefore, I'm gonna go with my superior. And because A, it's quick, and B, electric moves can't do too much against me, but but also, it has flamethrower. I'm just gonna try and get some as much damage on this as I can. Hopefully kill... Oh no, just kill it. has got acrobatics as well, it looks like, but that didn't do too much to me. I'm gonna try to go for a Giga Drain just to get some HP back. And hopefully. Okay, I, I think he, if he does have another Forest Stall, then he'll use it in his next turn. After it takes down this. 
But judging by his movesets so far, I'm trying to determine what would be a good Pokemon to use. I guess I'll go for uh, Arcanine. So I'm gonna switch out to Arcanine. <coughs> and go for the Flamethrower. Okay, he doesn't. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have another healing item then if he didn't use one of his Pokemon. I'm gonna stay with Arcanine for what he has next because. Because Pro, I guess. I need to think these things through. Um, Superior is four times super effective against this, and also quicker. I'm pretty sure because even though this Pokemon is pretty quick, I'm a higher level, and I think I can, I think I can uh, outspeed it. Okay, I just want to heal up my heal up my uh, Superior just so. Just so it won't die, so it'll send it out, just in case it has any super special move it can use against it. So I'm probably going to be reviving things a lot, because I've taken out... How many of this Pokemon now? I'm going to have to look how many he has left. But let's go back into Superior. And I guess after this, he's going to go for Flying or a... Fire-type, so I'm going to go with Flygon after this. He's got three Pokemon left, including this. I'm going to go with this Blade now. I must say, this has probably been the toughest battle in the game so far. He, he's pretty strong, he's taken out a few more Pokemon already. We're, we're doing about even right now. We go, I've got three left, he's got two left. Um, okay, I'm gonna go do what I said and switch out to Flygon. Ooh, I wonder what his ace Pokemon's gonna be. Better not be a Hydreigon. Okay, he's got a Toxic Oak. I guess he's having his best for last because everything's been level 50 so far. Okay, and this is this is good for me because poison can't do too much against me, and fighting can't really either. So, and uh, and ground is super effective. So let's try an earth power. Hopefully, this can take it out in one hit. Um. Okay, no, maybe not. That's a cross job. That's not going to do too much. Let's go with another earth power. Okay, okay, that always took me out. That, that would have been a bad. Time. That would have been bad. Okay, I've, I've taken a big lead over him, but I've got a feeling his last battle is going to be something annoying. But let's just wish me luck on this. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my god, this is going to be a pistol. And it's got Levitate, so even better! Okay, that did some recoil damage. I'm gonna go with Absol. Absol can't do too much against this thing, so... I'm gonna use one of my four max revives and heal my Golduck, because Golduck has Ice Beam. And that is super effective against him. That's my best hope for this Pokemon. Take this Pokemon out. Okay, that's that down. It's done more recoil damage. Or maybe that's just an item it has. Maybe up its attack, but but do damage each turn. I think there's something like a life orb or something. Something like that. I don't know if that's an item, but I'm just gonna guess. Okay. Dragon Tail's going first, that's odd, no, survive, survive, okay, survive, Just come on, do good damage, do good damage, okay, that was really good, that was really good, that was really good, <gasps> I froze it, yes, yes, oh, god, oh, he's frozen, he's frozen solid, that could not have been better luck on that last move, that could not have been better luck. Was absolutely perfect luck. Oh my god! So that gets us down, and that should be Team Plasma out. Now we've beaten the boss. Now Ent's gonna give a hearty speech, and guess us refuse refuses to leave it. Shall I try it? Take him away, but his star staff thing is still there. 
guess N's gonna leave on his Zekrom now. I guess we're gonna see him off. Farewell, N. The last time. And here comes Kiddo. Oh, 